Subsection B, which to me is what this would more fall under, is allegations of violations. That's why we're here today, because there was an anonymous letter alleging violations. And I, I, I have concern about why we're here today as well, uh, on, on the basis of what the Constitution and Contest Rules say about the um, allegations of violations and burden of proof. Are we going to begin calling anonymous letters having enough validity or substance to hold a hearing? I think you get into, as, as we discussed in the hearing, the, the splitting of semantical hairs. Um, I think that the big question was, was a gift given to uh, students? If within the past preceding 12 months, uh, a student, an individual, um, accepted money or other valuable consideration from the school booster club funds for any non-school purpose, uh, then they, then that is, that is a violation of that, um, of that code. And we're talking that. about a lot of gray area here, and that's what I guess I'm trying to say is, I think the problem is, is that a booster club wrote a check directly to the camp. I think that's the big, I think that is the problem. I mean, correctly, Robert Lee made the motion to orally reprimand very best ISD for violation of 441A3 that was seconded by Sterling City. Um, that's the motion in the second. Is there any further discussion? There being none, we can take a vote at this time. All those in favor of the uh, motion to ver orally reprimand very best ISD, please raise your right hand. The motion passes 6 0 with very best abstaining. Is there anything you're doing moving forward with your booster club to prevent this from happening? Yes, sir. Very specific steps are taking. I, I'm not going to discuss those, but yes, sir. And we are working hand in hand with, uh, with UIL and Austin to ensure that our procedures are, are uh, appropriate and adequate moving forward. Has there been any discussion about an appeal? No, sir. I, we do not intend to appeal. How do you think the board handled this today? Very professionally. Very, I'm very pleased uh, with this. As, as they discussed numerous times, the ambiguity, the gray area that existed, uh, it was, I, I'm not sure that we ever landed in anything black and white today. What are the logistics of an oral reprimand? I mean, I mean we, we hear that with a lot of different things. What, what, what actually happens with that? That's, that's a great question. Uh, that it's, it, that's a terminal uh, penalty meaning it, that's where it starts and that's where it ends. It's, a, it's an oral reprimand uh, and that's the end of it.